this is our Fisher Technology Integration Facilitator for the East Bridgewater Public Schools, and this is an overview of the options of presenting your screen in Google Meet. So I'm going to turn my camera off. Um, you have three options when you are in Google Meet to present your screen. I tend to choose your entire screen, but I'm going to show you the benefits of a window and a Chrome tab. So a window means a separate window. So notice I can open up a new window which basically opens up my Chrome browser again. You can see I have five different windows or six different windows down here. Um, and I can have something up in this window. So for instance, I have this um, Google slide, which is just telling when I ran a parent training, something for them to do. You could have this for your students as well. So I would put this in present. So that screen is fully presented. But how do I get back to my Google Meet screen? Well, if you click Alt-Tab on a Mac or a PC, a PC or a Chromebook, not a Mac, Mac, it's a, a different function, but Alt-Tab, I can get back to any of my windows. See, I'm toggling between my windows. So now I'm back to my Meet because I hit Alt-Tab and I switch to my Meet. When I have my Google Meet presented, I can't get my Chrome on the bottom with my taskbar the way my computer set up. So I'm back to my Google Meet. I'm going to hit Present Now and I'm going to click a window. Now I'm going to go choose which window I want to present. Now I'm going to stay on my Meet so I can see the students join, but I know that when they join, they're seeing this. And I can see that because I pinned my presentation here up top. Now I'm going to unpin it. So that's what they're seeing. And I'm going to sit here. Sometimes I sit here muted too. And then I just see everyone join, and then I watch them turn off their microphones, because remember, this is what's on. But you could have anything on that Google slide if you wanted them to be having a message before while they're waiting for you. That's an option, and that works well with present window. Just know when you shut that window out, if you're only presenting the window, it goes away. So I do entire screen when I'm doing some teaching not when I'm waiting for students to join, because then I don't have to worry about if I close out one tab and open up another. A Chrome tab is best, like it says here, for video or animation or anything with sound. So if I'm going to have something with sound, I want to make sure before my meet even begins that I have it started. I have it all queued up and then I'll start my meet because Google Meet and YouTube are both utilizing that video uh, card in your device. You want to make sure that you have everything ready because as it's monopolizing the device. So here is my video here. Again, I might have this in a separate window if I wanted to, um, although the sound won't, no I won't because the sound won't play. I need to have a Chrome tab for that no matter what. <laughs> a Chrome tab I'm going to choose. I'm going to choose my video here. Make sure this is clicked. Share audio. I'm going to click share. And then notice I'm not back on the meet. I can hit play here and I can go back to my meet. Notice it does get a bit choppy because now I'm running my meet video and the YouTube video. And I'm also running Screencastify, so even choppier for me. When I'm ready to stop that share, I can hit stop here or I can go back and shut this off. Notice it stops it right away. And then when you do your entire screen, I can pop between different tabs and it will tell me I'm presenting to everyone and I can go out here and it gives me this little message here, 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 wherever I want to go. I typically tend to stop back onto the meet and just ask people if they can see my screen just to make sure it hasn't dropped out. And those are the three options, options of presenting your screen in Google Meet. Thank you.